What is good, people, man? It is your boy, Lord Williamson, coming back to you with another one. And to all my people, we are in Santo Domingo, man. I am back in the city that showed me so much love when I first started this journey. I'm about to go get a haircut, man. We're going to go to one of the most famous barbershops in Santo Domingo. And probably one of the most famous barbershops in the world, honestly, man. We're going to Santana's Barbershop. They say it'd be lit over there, but I'm more worried about getting my hair cut, man. So let's go. Yo, DR be lit, bro. Look at this shit. Desculpa. ¿Qué es eso? ¿Una escuela? Una escuela. Sí. Una escuela para Panamá. Para, ah, claro. I don't know what school they got that's on a Sunday. I, I like to go to school there. But yeah, man, we headed to the barbershop, man. I got to get it cut. Y'all see me looking rough, man. So let's get it. right I got a wash a cut like they did all the little extra stuff it was like $25 man so obviously it ain't beating Bali prices where I was getting haircuts for three dollars but you know definitely a better service a better vibe and I know what y'all want to see man I'm only showing that you know what I'm saying you got to show some love man I'm doing I've been recording a lot showing y'all a lot of footage man but the footage that y'all want to see from Santana's it's gonna be on my Patreon. <laughs> and you know it's gonna be worth it. Right now, man, we about to slide. We gonna get some food. And I'm gonna show y'all where I'm staying at, man. Definitely a nice little duck off spot. I would like to be around some more food. But, uh, yeah. It's hot as hell. But right now, man, we are gonna go to this one restaurant that I always wanted to stop by. They got real good Dominican food, so I've heard. So I'm gonna go check it out. They probably gonna bust my head, man. That's the only thing about the DR, man. Like, you really got to know the spots to go get cheap food. But, uh, yeah, man, let's check it out. Presidente. Hablamos en Espanol. Estoy en la Dominican Republic. They keep asking me, do I want to do, do I mean you in Spanish? And I'm like, nah, man. That's how you learn. Y'all, if y'all go watch my last video from San Diego Domingo and just see the progress that I had, like, it's just ridiculous, man. If you trying to learn something, man, you just gotta force yourself to keep learning. Keep learning, keep trying to adapt to the culture because the more you act like a gringo, the more they gonna treat you like a gringo. Hey, man, I, I don't care what nobody say. Dominicans, Haitians, yo, Dominicans are black. And they say, they quickly say, I know black, I know black, amigo. Papi, papi, papi. Tranquilo, amigo, I know black. Yes, you are. You are. How come we got the same hair? You black, baby. You just, you know, we crank that soldier boy, you crank that bachata, that merengue. You're black, buddy. Uh, I remember real quick why, you know, why I wouldn't live here, why I said I wouldn't live here. Just because it's super expensive, you know what I'm saying? And when I say that, I mean for another country other than America. You know, they got American pricing. That food y'all just saw me eat, plus that medium-sized Presidente, $17. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, just that. That's why I prefer Colombia, because I'm a cheapskate. That's all. But the Dominican women here, my goodness. Tonight I'm probably gonna meet up with my homie Dre. He's always held it down. Probably gonna go to Bonnier. But yeah, man. Let's see what Zona Colonial is looking like and see has it changed 
Is it different? What what we what we looking at, man? Let's go. Man, we outside Zona Colonial, man. I got my guy Dre with me, man. Hey, y'all remember my mans, man. Y'all remember him, man. Y'all need anything, Airbnbs, all that. He got y'all for sure, man. Y'all let me know if y'all don't want it. If y'all got warrants or something, you know, y'all don't want to be in camera, I'm perfectly fine with that. That's cool. All right, cool, cool, cool. Got the homies with us, man. We all posted. I have to go to Bonnier and turn up, man. Yeah, right now we are headed to Bonnier, man. Like I said, it's a party that they have every Sunday, and it's ridiculous, man. I can't, I can't forget the first time I came down here, man. One thing that these places have over America is you can just go somewhere for free, chill, you know, drink, bring your own liquor, do what you want to do, man. But in America, everything has a price tag on it. And I'm just going to try, since I'm in Dominican Republic, you know, I get shown a lot of love here. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to drop a vlog almost every day that I'm here. I don't know how that's going to go, but we're going to see, man. Y'all let me know if y'all fucking with it. But yeah, man, that being said, man, let's go to Bonnier. Yeah. My man, what's good, Brody? Yo, Chicago, Maywood, Illinois was really good. How long, how long you been here, bro? Yo, I've been here nine years. Y'all see how we riding. Y'all see how we riding, man. Hey, my boy got us outside. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, we in Vijuana right now, man. Hey, we at Vijuana. Yeah. This is the hood. Don't come over here if you ain't got no pass. If you don't got a hood pass, don't come. So I know you guys hear me make that hood pass joke a lot, but to be honest, there are certain places that you shouldn't go alone, and Villa Juana is definitely one of those places. It's always best to go with someone who's either from there or knows the area well. Police come, everybody goes here. It's all the way upstairs.
second video, I was complaining about how expensive DR is, which that is true. It is one of the most expensive Latin American countries. But if you go to the hood, you get the best food for the best prices. <laughs> All right, fellas, enough with the antics. Enough with the hoopla. Enough with the malarkey. All right, that's how y'all know I'm drunk, man. But anyways, there is a spot called Oasis in Santo Domingo. For all you guys that have subscribed to my Patreon, how do I say this nicely? For all you perverts out there, Oasis is a place for you. Hey, I had a ball, so I'm not even trying to pick up. I'm not even trying to pick a fight with you. I, I perverted out as well. You know what I'm saying? But if you're looking for the you digs and the you do's, go to Oasis at night, man. You know, it, it, it's got what you need. Anyways, I'm walking home right now. I did a day-to-day -day vlog. I'm walking home. Yeah, man, we walking to the crib right now. Y'all make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment. All the lit stuff is on my Patreon. That's all I'm saying. All the lit stuff is on my Patreon. And I'm not even going to flex with y'all. Shout out to my Patreon members. They see, they see the vlogs first. They see everything first. Shout out to my Patreon. Let's get it.